Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and this is Space Slog. This is a yet-to-be-released upcoming colony sim base builder. The premise is very interesting. You are trapped alone in space, and you have to build up a base, you have to do a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm really, really excited for this one. Uh, I'm going to play on timid difficulty, uh, because first of all, this is a very, very, very challenging game. I'm just going to sort of get things sort of set up uh, roughly uh, in a way that I think is going gonna, is gonna to work for us. We're going to select a crew, and we are going to jump into the game. Now, this is... This is a hardcore, this is a hardcore game. It, it really, really is. Um, I've spent a couple of hours sort of getting to grips with it, and I can honestly say this is probably one of my most anticipated upcoming uh, games for 2025 after just playing with it for a couple of hours. Let me show you how it works. Uh, so this is the uh, this is the this is our crew. We have got three crew members, and this is our ship. Um, it's an escape pod, effectively, but with this ship comes a tremendous amount of opportunity. We can expand it, we can build new facilities onto it, and we can salvage all of the resources that are in this asteroid field. Uh, so yeah, we've got so many resources that we uh, that we actually. We're, they're actually overflowing. They're uh, they're deep in space. Uh, we have a very sort of simple objective, um, and they will pop up down in the bottom right-hand corner in just a second here, I hope. Don't want to embarrass myself. There we go. Uh, your crew have no beds, and we also have an air source missing. Uh, we start with a couple of resources. Most importantly is titanium. Uh, we've also got some fuel cells around here, a little bit of ice, uh, some coins, some medical kits, and then also within the ship itself, we have got some water and we have got some food. That's basically it. So what do we do and um, how can we survive? Uh, well, uh, we can go into this uh, little tab over here. This is the construction tab. And what we are going to be doing is we're going to effectively be expanding our spaceship so that we can in an ideal world, hold more stuff inside and build some of the sort of key survival infrastructure. Uh, like, for example, uh, if we go into uh, here, uh, a life support module giving us the ability to produce air within the ship. That would be, I mean, that's critical. Uh, at the moment, we've got three different members of staff. They've all got their own sort of, uh, you know, health, morale, uh, little, uh, little, little health bars over here, uh, but we've also got a oxygen bar, and this is uh, an oxygen tank in the suit, uh, which is fine, but it just means that uh, that once that is gone, we need to have some way of replenishing it, and so that's what we're going to that's what we're going to try and do. Okay, let's immediately get down to business. So in this asteroid field, and I would say um, this is a very, very early build of the game, pre-release build of the game. Uh, one of the things that I find really, really challenging about this game is that it is really difficult to see where the things are in space. Now, uh, what we are looking for is we're looking for anything that we are able to exploit, and uh, there's a couple of different asteroids. Asteroids can give us either ice, silicon, or rock. Uh, where's the silicon asteroid? There's a silicon asteroid somewhere. There we go, silicon asteroid. We effectively have to mine through the health bar. Uh, but more importantly than that, there are ship debris, which I am going to queue up for... Um, for deconstruction, and these are going to give us, hopefully, a little bit of titanium. Uh, I don't know how many there are, but I'm going to try and get them all. Again, really, really challenging to actually see where they are, but once you've found them, you just mark them, and that's hopefully going to allow my, uh, my, uh, my, my survivors to just go out into the big wide world and explore and uh, and get that and get that sort of deconstructed. Now, whilst we're doing that, let's go through the other sort of uh, modifiers and buttons up at the top here. We've got a uh, a research window which currently is completely useless. Uh, we've got a little crew sort of manifest. We can see at a glance. We can assign uh, roles to to different crew uh, members, captain, quartermaster. We don't really need to do that at the moment. I don't think it makes a huge difference. Uh, jobs, we can sort of say what priority we want people to be uh, to be undertaking in jobs. I'm going to go to three times speed because there's just a lot of stuff to get done immediately. There we go. Converting all of this uh, debris into titanium. Very, very important. Uh, we've got a schedule, sleeping hours, working hours, uh, equipment. Uh, this is spacesuit on, spacesuit off. We don't have any other equipment at the moment. 
And we don't have any rooms because it's not yet implemented. Factions. There are world factions uh, or space world galactic factions. Uh, we have relations with different ones, uh, different ones here. They have different power levels, tech levels, etc. Very, very cool. We can create our own faction or name our own faction uh, if we want to. What else have we got going on? Uh, we've got a little system monitor over here. This is super, super handy. Uh, really, really nice to sort of see at a glance. Uh, this is our hull integrity, how much power we've got, oxygen, life support. This is um, overall breathable air compared to maximum internal pressure. We've got temperature. We've got uh, total weight. All looking good. And then we have got different zones. At the moment, we only have the stockpile zone. That's fine. Okay, what do we want to do? I think we want to expand our ship. Ideally, we want to not have any resources outside. We also want to have enough space to build that key infrastructure that I was talking about earlier. So let's see if we can try and get some metal hull down. This is going to cost me four titanium apiece. We've got 30 titanium here. We've also just sort of broken up some titanium in the big wide world. So let's see if we can try and get a little bit of additional, a little bit of additional real estate to, uh, to work with. It doesn't take long to build, uh, it doesn't take long to deliver, it's just going to take uh, a little bit of time, effort, and energy for everybody to sort of make it work. I also should probably, I mean, these things are going to be automatically moved, that is, uh, that's kind of the dream, we kind of love it. Uh, so after we have built, after we have built metal hull, we need to build metal floor. This is going to cost me two titanium. So effectively for a, a space of usable or a cell of usable floor space, it's about six titanium, which is, which is fine. You know, it's, it's okay. It's, um, it's not bad. Uh, we are going to sleep. This is fine. We're an hour 18. What is this? Hour 18th hour of the 10th of the 10th day, mid third of 2,374. Uh, either way, everybody is going to get their sleep. Nobody's sleeping in a designated space at the moment. It's all just sort of chaotic, uh, chaotic sleeping, uh, sleeping arrangements. Ideally, we would like to get some sleeping spots or indeed some beds. It's probably something that we're going to want to get. We've got an atmosphere tab. We've got an entertainment tab. We've got a furniture tab. That's the sleeping spot that I was talking about. Uh, we've also got power. We need to get ourselves a small generator and transponder, nav console, small thruster, medium thruster, uh, aeroponics. Okay, that's cool. And then more hull stuff. All right, uh, we've expanded a little bit. I don't know if we have much titanium left, but, um, but we'll shortly begin accruing it ideally in the uh, in the ship. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the, there we go, the metal floor down and we're going to add another six tiles. Effectively going to be doubling up, doubling up our usable floor space. I hope it's going to be enough. And then after that, we're probably going to allocate a couple of tiles to, there we go, to stockpile. However, we don't want to just stockpile anything here. We specifically want to remove all, and then we want to go into uh, materials, metal, titanium, allow. So what that is effectively going to allow everybody to do is accumulate all of the titanium that we have mined from a variety of, uh, of different sort of space debris. And in fact, I'm going to, whilst that is happening, I'm going to have a little hunt around. There we go. I knew there was more space debris that we, uh, that we have yet to hit upon. Doesn't look like there's any... Any other space debris? There's definitely titanium. Oh, yeah, there is. Doesn't look like there's any other space debris other than that. There's definitely titanium that I haven't collected yet, but that's okay. This is the vastness of space. This is what we, this is what we, uh, we've come to anticipate. Let's get all of that sorted. And as that's happening, let's talk about, um, let's talk about next steps. That's a decent amount of titanium right there. I'd really love to start destroying some of these asteroids. There's two different types of asteroids. There's asteroids with 2,000 HP. There's asteroids with 4,000 HP. I'm going to start queuing up. Um, talk about that in just a sec. Um, that is very important. Uh, but yeah, two different types of asteroids. We've got silicon asteroids, silicon asteroids, ice asteroids, and uh, and rock. Each variety can have either 2,000 or 4,000 HP. Uh, we just need to mine through it, and then we get the resources at the end. Very, very simple. Now, every so often, uh, we are going to be faced with uh, an incident. In this in, in this case, it is a hostile creature. A hostile space worm has entered, has entered space, and that is going to be coming towards us, and it is going to try and attack my crew. Now, my crew, thankfully, have the ability to be drafted and we should be able to deal with uh we should be able to deal with them now the space worm can and it will decide to enter my quarters which i am very uncomfortable with 
but what we can do is we can highlight our two crew members. We can draft them. Excellent. And as soon as the worm enters the door, uh, we will start attacking. And I will take a little bit of damage. But it's nothing. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing crazy. Oh, I'm also going to rename my uh, my ship. Uh, this is going to be called the the potato. There we go. So no longer just an escape pod, uh, but a proper but a proper spaceship. And in fact, uh, technically a battleship, right? Because I mean, we've just had a battle on our ship. No, that, I don't think that qualifies to be a battleship, but that's fine. Either way, let's un um, let's undraft those two uh, those two people. That's fine, and then we'll just continue to get ourselves more and more titanium, which is looking good. Okay, what was uh, what was this? Oh yeah, Sammy Fisk is being attacked. That's fine, and we've dealt with that. We've dealt with both of that. Dealt with both of those issues. That is looking good. So we've queued up that silicon asteroid to be destroyed. Ideally, we want some more silicon asteroids. Queue that one up as well. Excellent. It's rock. Silicon. Rock, rock. Ice, silicon. Okay, that's a decent amount of silicon asteroids queued up for deconstruction. We'll just sort of let that happen. Silicon is kind of like the second most important resource after titanium. Uh, we are still mining away the space debris over here, which is very, very nice indeed. And I only wish we could move all of the resources a little bit more quickly. Uh, there's a lot of titanium here now. And I'm actually pretty chuffed with the amount that we've uh, the amount we've managed to get. This is going to make for a pretty decent expansion to the uh, to the ship here. And in fact, I think we maybe get like another another layer or another two layers up at the top. It's definitely starting to feel definitely starting to feel nice. Uh, we can get like corner pieces as well, uh, angled pieces. I don't think that we want to make our I don't think that we want to make our 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 ship angled. I think we just kind of go with this design. I think this is I think this is totally fine. Either way, this is all this is all looking grand. Um, you know what? Gloria, I think I'm going to make you captain. I think I'm going to make Gloria captain. Congrats, Gloria. As I say, I don't think it actually makes any difference at all, but um but there we go. That's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, you can see that our breathable air compared to maximum internal pressure is decreasing. That is because we um, we are currently sucking it into the tanks. I don't know how it sort of works in terms of practicality, uh, but we're using internal air in order to uh, in order to fuel the suits uh, that we uh, that we have here. What's going on? Hostile space worm has entered space. That's fine. We'll we'll tackle it. We'll tackle it when it comes. Not particularly worried. Are we getting to town? Are we going to town on these uh, these bits of silicon? No, we're still moving. We're still moving titanium, which is honestly, as things go, totally, totally fine. I should also point out that we've got 36 meals, 43 water. Um, now 74 metal that is, that is actually just, or 89 metal that is actually in our ship. Uh, I'm going to draft you. Let's get you inside here. And let's get you drafted as well. And let's start attacking the worm. Great, happy days. Now we can suffer. We can suffer casualties, and um, that is something that we need to be very, very sort of closely attuned to. It's not something that we really need to worry about right now, but it is something that we do need to sort of be roughly worried about. Anyway, how are we getting on with these asteroids? Oh, good. We've already got through uh, one of them. So uh, a small asteroid will give us three silicon. And a big asteroid with 4,000 HP will give us six silicon, or indeed rock, or whatever the heck it is. Uh, we're coming along, or the expansion is coming along nicely. That's great. Let's give ourselves a little bit more room to play around with, and then let's turn our attention to let's turn our attention to perhaps building some stuff, because we've got loads of titanium, and titanium is required not only to build hull space; it's also required to build machines, uh, which is what we are, which is what we are going to do. Okay. So, uh, in terms of the machines, there's two that are really, really critical. The first is the initial life support machine, and the second is the small generator. The small generator will allow us to power everything, and the life support machine will allow us to 
survive, I suppose. Uh, the small generator is going to go right in the middle here for reasons which will become clear in just a second. Uh, the life support machine, uh, where is it? The life support machine is going to go right over here. And we also need to get a little bit of additional infrastructure set up for the life support machine. Uh, we need ducting and we need an air vent. That is to vent the gas into the, uh, into the ship. Let's get this expanded and then let's start work. Now, we should have the silicon. There we go. We should have the silicon to make this happen. If we don't have the silicon, it's just a case about, uh, it's just a case of sort of moving it into, uh, moving it into the base, which we can do. There we go. I think we need six silicon for each uh, the generator. Or sorry, eight silicon for each the generator and the um, and the life support machine. So neither is uh, is too challenging to get to grips with. There we go. That should be it. I hope. Oh no, we almost delivered it all, but then I think we just decided to fall asleep there. That's fine too, I suppose. Let's also let's also get some sleeping spots whilst we. Oh, we're building the life support, and we're almost ready to build the um, to build the other thing as well. Right, you're gonna go to work on that silicon asteroid. You're gonna go to work on that silicon asteroid. We actually have like a lot of, we actually have a lot of capability to build stuff quite quickly here, which is which is really really nice. Uh, so the life support machine is completely finished. It requires a hundred watts of power. We don't obviously have a capability to, to, to produce power, not until this thing is built. Uh, it also requires fuel. That fuel is ice. So we can um, we can actually mine this ice asteroid. We mine the ice asteroid. That is going to give us uh, effectively oxygen to uh, or, or or gas to or gas to produce, or the ability to produce gas, I should say. We can also. Uh, which is what we have to do. We can also get ourselves an air vent. An air vent is going to allow us to vent gas into the uh, into the room. Let's do it over here, and let's get a ducting, a bit of ducting right underneath. It just takes what one bit of sorry, three bits of titanium for the air vent, one bit of titanium for the duct. Um, so it's not too it's not too onerous to get that all built. But yeah, we're pretty we're pretty happy with all of this. Have we collected all the titanium from around the world or around the the zone, I think we have. There's still a little bit of silicon to come. And actually, we do need to move all of these external resources onto the internal. But we can do that shortly. Now, how's our suit oxygen looking? Everybody's probably on about 72. Yeah, 72, 68, 71. Okay, the small generator is up and running. Now, we also started with some of these fuel cells. These fuel cells absolutely critical for the operation of the ship because it will allow the small generator to be fueled. The small generator can be turned on uh, very, very easily, in fact. Whoa! Draft. There we go. I didn't realize, but there was a worm. There we go. I didn't realize, but there was a worm that managed to get itself into my base. Um, and... Sammy Fisk has collapsed from being headbutted and needs to be rescued. Well, I'm very sorry, but we're going to have to destroy that worm first. Yeah, that's the problem with worms. And worms can sometimes spawn when you destroy asteroids. So you need to be super careful about uh, about how you do that. Right. Um, now, Fisk has been... Um, Fisk has collapsed. Because you're collapsed, it actually allows me to demonstrate another feature. Uh, the feature of recovery. We need to get ourselves a sleeping spot. And put that over there. Let's assign you to... Oh, reserved by Williams. Okay, congrats. And I guess Williams... You're just going to do it, I guess. You're going to move a med kit into here. Beautiful. And then you're going to go and sleep in the bed. That is absolutely unbelievable. No beds available to schedule rescue Fisk. Yeah, that's because... Williams, that's because you just flipping got into the bed. As opposed to rescuing Fisk. So Fisk needs a sleeping spot. There we go. And then let's undo that. And now, happy days, we should have, hopefully, somebody who is recovering, which is quite nice. Okay. This is all good. A little bit derailed by uh, by that. Uh, we can check out the, uh, the sort of vital signs. Uh, injuries, illnesses, not yet implemented. We basically just have to wait. And they're hopefully going to come back and uh, be recovered. There's a little bit of blood here. 
bit awkward, but that's fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get this ship turned on. Let's let's go. So this small generator is going to produce up to 250 watts of power. Boom, we turn it on. It stops being a, a dark hellhole and is only slightly less of a dark hellhole. Now, the interesting thing about this is that we have a couple of different buildings that all require power. First and foremost, we've got the life support building, which we can turn on. Um, we also have the transponder, which is a requirement, apparently, for uh, for all ships. Uh, transponder is... It allows other ships to find us. Uh, we're going to turn that on. It only requires 30 watts. The life support requires 100. So what does that... What does that put us at? That puts us at 130 out of 250, which is fine. Totally, totally fine with that. And also, we're going to start to see uh, oxygen escaping into this room. Uh, but because... Because of the fact that it is going to be absorbed by everybody's suits... So we should start to see the suit numbers increase ever so slightly. There we go. Uh, because it's going to be absorbed by everybody's suits, it's not going to show as sort of pressurizing the room yet, but we are going to start replenishing the sort of supplies that we have here. In terms of oxygen, so that's fine. We just kind of need to let that run. We have about 20 hours of fuel. We do need to get more... We do need to get more ice. We'll probably start the process of... There we go, destroying those two. It's important to get ice. Uh, we need oxygen. We need to survive. We do need to live. Uh, I also probably want to get all of... Uh, cleaning. Cleaning? I don't know why we're even bothering to clean. To be fair, it's not really super required, but hey-ho. Uh, how much titanium do I have? Enough titanium to probably... To probably build another another row. Do I go for another row? Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's expand. Let's expand again. Let's go... Let's go, let's go along here. We're also going to move this barrel. This barrel, oh. Aha, look at that. Sammy Fisk is moving again, just in the nick of time as well. So you're you're not going to be completely useless now. That's great. I'm very, 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 very happy to see you, buddy. That's great. So a couple of different things that I want to do. I want to expand here. I want to get another sleeping zone, probably two more sleeping zones over here, just so that everybody has got their own sort of like allocated, dedicated zone to chill out. We're using a couple of med kits. I'm not over the moon about the fact that we're using so many med kits. Uh, Williams is starving. Well, just schedule eat packaged meal. Just eat your packaged meal, mate. No, no. Just eat your packaged meal. Eat your packaged meal. Just... Shut up and eat it. Oh, our scanners have detected a ship nearby. It should be within communication range shortly. Okay, good. Love to see it. Are we still mining asteroids out here? The Danura is now in comms range. Now, the only reason that we actually know that is because we have got our transponder turned on, uh, which is fine. This is a trade ship, last tyranny, and it's neutral. Okay. Let's see if we can try and trade. Hey, hey, look at this. Williams has initiated a trade with a social skill of three. Um, I don't know if Williams has our highest social skill. But whatever, it doesn't matter. What do I want? What do I want? Oh, we could sell a member of staff. That's brutal. That is brutal. I mean, we can't really can't really sell much else, to be honest. We could sell a crew member, but that seems that seems unfair. Um, what do I want? 536 credits for a fuel cell. That's a lot of that's a lot of money. Ice 286. I mean, these are very very expensive prices. Potato seeds. Let's maybe see if we can try and get potato seeds because I'll tell you what, there is the ability to get looking at sort of like the next stage of what we should do. Uh where is it? It's here somewhere. There we go. Uh Aeroponics, a place to grow plants and vegetables. Uses 60 power takes 40 titanium, so it's quite a lot of titanium investment, but it would allow us to get, would allow us to get, uh, to get growing. Bribe? You can attempt to bribe the ship for zero credits? Your bribe was unsuccessful. Hey! The ship has been bribed. Didn't cost us anything either, so, so that's great. I think that's probably a, probably a bug. Uh, let's, uh, Let's get, like, let's buy out all of their potatoes, uh, their potato seeds. I feel like I'm I'm obliged to do so. Anything else that I'm particularly bothered, bothered about? No, I will say trade. 
you don't have enough credits to buy this. I mean, I I do, I, I I do, but I probably also need to make sure that they're in the in the um in the ship. So let's get let's get a stockpile there, and let's just deny let's deny the movement of solids. Packaged meals. Yeah, deny packaged meals and also deny liquids. Non-alcoholic. Yeah, deny deny water and packaged meals. So effectively that means that everything that is not this stuff... Ah, the Denura's left comms range before we were able to buy uh, buy that stuff. That's unfortunate. But hey-ho, we've got um, we've got 500 coins that are actually now in the stockpile. It's also going to give us an opportunity to, to get everything moved in here, which is, um, which is just perfect. That's what we want to see. Uh, and we are actually ready to make a move if we want to. I want to finish these constructions here. And I want to get an extra little bit of space sorted. Uh, but I don't think there's anything else we want to worry about. Uh, we need to move that ice in here. That is definitely very important. And in fact, how's my O2 pressure? My O2 pressure is still zero. So that still means that we we need to do more suit replenishment. Yeah, you're on 83%. Yeah, I mean, this is just a small life support system. I don't think we can really expect it to do a lot. But I'm expecting it to do uh, to do a little bit. Right, how are we doing now? Not too bad. Do we need any more, do we need any more space for anything? I don't think we do. I think we're, I think we're just about ready to go. Did I, do I have anything else? Ice, has that been put into the life support machine? 3.7 units, 1.2 days. Uh, you know what I'll do? I'll do... I'll stockpile... I'll put another stockpile zone in there. Ah, That's what I didn't want to do. Get rid of that. And I was, I was going to put a stockpile zone down there, but I'm not going to do that. Because otherwise it's going to get moved around. Either way, everybody's got a sleeping spot now, which is really, really nice. I think it's time. I think it's time to move. So, our our generator... Our generator gives us 250 watts, which is fine. Uh, this small thruster, which is going to allow us to make, uh, to make some forward progress, takes 150. So, effectively, we can run the life support and the thruster at the same time. We're going to have to turn off the transponder. It's not a big deal. It's nice to have on. Um, but basically, we want the thruster to be on. So... Uh, this thruster is not connected to the power grid. Uh, yeah, I forgot. This is why I arranged these machines like I did, is so that effectively we only have to build one cable. There's a cable natively in each machine. Uh, one cable right there in the corner. Perfect. Will allow us to start uh, to start building up the burn meter. The burn meter, effectively, it's like a charge. Um, once we have charged up 100% of the burn meter we are going to be able to move forward, which is, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, move forward and make some, make some sweet, sweet progress. Tell you what I'd like to do. Let's, uh, add another stockpile zone right there. That's what I went to do. And remove all. In fact, no, allow all. But again, we're going to disallow water. And we're going to disallow... Where is it? Uh, solid... Packaged meal. That's the one. Disallow both of those. You gosh darn jerk. There we go. Get that. Get that out of there. Ugh, you know what? Just just make it. Just make it all. Just there we go. Just make it all. Make it all what it needs to be. That's why. That's why we did it. Look, there's more silicon. There's more resources around. Just waiting for. Waiting for stuff to waiting for stuff to be delivered. I think that's everything, though, right? I think that's absolutely everything. He says with a degree of confidence that is clearly insane. Um, there's a little bit more silicon to get, which uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, we've managed to create a not terrible ship here in a pretty decent time. I'm not too dissatisfied with how this all looks. I think we're ready. 
to move. So um, what happens is what we're, we wait until our burn meter is uh, is completely charged, and then we press this big old button. And doing so is going to allow us to leave everything in the sector behind and make some forward progress in space. We're literally traveling through in space. Now, oh, we're passing over an asteroid field. We can attempt to mine some, uh, but be careful of parasites and infections. I am indeed going to do that. I'm going to drop out of space here, and we're going to turn this off. That was quite quick. I was um I was not anticipating I was not anticipating it to be that uh, to be that sudden and I don't know what sort of type of uh, interactions we can have. Is there anything of interest here in this asteroid field? I mean, this bit of this bit of ice. I mean, yeah, not not much. I, I th you know what? I, honestly, I think I'm just going to reactivate this bad boy and then just see if we can try and go a little bit uh, a little bit further. Uh, there's no titanium that we can actually get. Silicon asteroid. You know, go 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 to town on that silicon asteroid and go to town on that ice asteroid too. Our burn meter is it's like charge, but it's also uh oh, we're on low food. Hmm. I should point out by the way, we've got this uh this barrel. This is a barrel that allows us to make stuff. We can make vegetable broth. I do not have the ingredients for that. A bland meat broth. I don't have. I don't have raw meat either. I don't have anything like that. So let's um, let's destroy these two asteroids. Ideally, whilst we're waiting for uh, for that burn meter to fully accumulate, and then we can make some progress. I can actually turn this off whilst we're waiting. We're still going to be able to burn. Here we go, get that silicon moved inside, and probably get some ice moved inside as well. Ideally, we don't come across any any bugs or any worms or any anything like that. There we go. Grab the ice. Okay, go sleep and then grab the ice. That's fine too. No big deal. It looks like our ship is slowly but surely getting an atmosphere back, which to me means that everybody should be 100% oxygen charged up, ready to rock and roll, fighting fit, and uh, and ready to ready to take on the world. Let's get that ice added in here. Great. How much food do we have? 12, 12 meals. Let's burn. Let's go. Uh, turn that on, and let us let us move forward. Um, we didn't have our engine on whilst we were burning, so we're going to have to wait. That's fine. Hostile space worm. We might be able to escape it, actually. Hmm. I doubt it, unfortunately. Well, we'll charge up the burn meter, and we'll we'll look to, to evac as soon as we possibly can. Yeah. We don't have enough titanium. We don't have enough titanium to build anything, really. That worm is obviously coming on in. We can build a transponder. We can build a nav console. Uh, don't have enough titanium to build a nav console. I would love to get a nav console, but that's going to require 200 watts to operate. A comm console, communication with other ships, that'd be quite handy. A small thruster, we've obviously already got a small thruster. Uh, Power-wise, we can get ourselves a large generator, but we need we need higher skills in order to build that. We can build some furniture, but, I mean, who cares about furniture? An arcade machine to reduce stress? I really don't care about that. And then getting oxygen generation and oxygen tanks... That would all be a nice little bonus, but not super required. It is so disturbing that these bugs can uh, can just make their own way into my ship. Like they can get through doors. What an advan What a crazy advanced species. Um, I also don't think that we can. I also don't think that we can actually eat this in any meaningful way. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could. It'd be nice if we could eat that and convert it into uh, convert it into some sort of food, but that's just not something that we can do, apparently. Okay, burn. Now I want to see what we can. Um, I want to see what we can find. Uh, there's obviously like asteroid fields, other asteroid fields that we can find. I have absolutely no idea how we're going to get some more food. I mean, we can sell a member of the crew, but that seems like a pretty miserable thing to do and not something that I would endorse on any level, I suppose. Uh, but it is something that we could do. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure sort of what other random encounters uh, exist. 
there is a bit of a backstory. Uh, we might be able to f come across some uh, factions. So, yeah, we got the faction alignment thing over here. Uh, Last Tyranny, yeah, we're, we're good with them. Uh, or we're not terrible with them. But... Yeah, the, we uh, we haven't come across them. We haven't come across them at all yet, which is fine. I am worried about our food, though. I am really, really worried about our food. We just do not have any. We do not have a, We do not have any way to to improve our food. It's just straight up. We just just don't uh, allow all. There we go. Allow that to be moved across there. That's fine. It's looking good, though. I mean, it's looking good. This is a. It's a simple but basic. It's a simple but basic operation. Uh, what I would love to get, I would really love to get one of these nav consoles, which presumably is going to give me the ability to actually see what the heck is, you know, see what the heck is happening, see what the heck I'm doing. We don't have titanium, we don't have silver, we don't have logs, a log nav console. We do not have 15 silicon. We also do not have skill 5. I don't even know what skill uh, everybody has. What skill does everybody have? Not history. Uh, skills. Yeah, engineering, which is what we require. Uh, we're, we're actually quite close to being able to level up uh, Sammy Fisk's engineering skills. So if we're able to find another source of titanium and a tiny little bit more silicon, we can get ourselves this nav console. I'd probably want to build like an additional like row of space uh, so that we can build it. But hey-ho. Either way, I think we should skip forward in time to where I actually find something useful and or interesting for my people hmm yes let's 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 move forward well things are not looking uh, tremendously good um gloria here is uh is is very 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 hungry i believe uh yeah you are zero percent full uh we have completely run out of food uh we got one medical kit though so that's quite nice um uh, i have turned my transponder on my life support has uh, has run out of uh, has run out of juice. Uh, there was an asteroid field that I think I flew over, but uh, but I didn't drop out of uh, out of hyperspace quickly enough because I was too busy trying to focus on feeding my crew. Uh, yeah, I do, I do I do not think that there is a way that I can get uh, there's a way that I can get food. This barrel here is we don't have berries. We don't have anything. We don't have anything needed to we don't have anything needed to make food. And I think we're probably going to start to see my crew collapsing here, uh, which is going to be quite embarrassing. Uh, I have turned the transponder on. So if there is a ship out there, we might be able to come across it. Uh, the good news is, life support wise, we're, we're fine. Uh, we got plenty to spare. We got cash. I want to trade, but it turns out the galaxy's a big old sort of place. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's check Gloria here. Yeah, you are starving. You are absolutely starving. You're satisfied being captain, though, so that's quite good. Reducing mood by five. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll, that'll really do it. Uh, yeah, still nothing. I guess let's just continue until something happens, I guess? Well, we knew it was gonna happen, but Gloria has collapsed from starvation. The captain is down... And uh, is going to be healed up with our last remaining med kit. We officially have uh, no med kits remaining. Oh boy, it's not looking. It's not looking good. Um, how much more fuel do we have? Oh, our second person has collapsed, and we do not have a med kit for them. That is pretty unfortunate. That is pretty unfortunate. I don't know, you kind of have to ask yourself, where did it all go wrong? Maybe by not getting those seeds, like, very, very early on, we kind of consigned ourselves to a to a miserable existence. That being said, we really just don't have enough space. I mean, we this is the maximum amount of titanium that we could have extracted from that asteroid, um, from that asteroid uh, field. We do not have any more. I, I definitely think this is, like, the next required step, the ability to grow your own food, because it, it doesn't seem like there is any other way to get food. Like, when you drop into an asteroid field, there's not just a sort of bountiful supply of food around. It'd be nice if we could use those space worms in order to create food so that we could, you know, kind of try and sustain ourselves. Uh, it's also kind of mad that 
we've, we've just not come across any. We've, we've come across an asteroid field. Happy days. Let's drop. Okay, great. Is there is there anything here? I mean, it's an asteroid field, but there's no... Silicon asteroid, rock asteroid, ice asteroid. Yeah, so, I mean, there's no, there's no titanium. There's no titanium to be had here. I mean, we can we can unpause and hope that a ship decides to come across us, but um, to be honest, I don't think I don't think Fisk is long for this world. Fisk is also starving as well. Well, you can do your you can do your best. You can do your best. Uh, I feel like maybe sending him outside to to do. Some exertive activity is maybe not uh, is maybe not the best. Let's say we do have the transponder on. We are ready to burn. Like we've got uh, we've got the requirements here. We just can't. You know what? Let's burn. Let's burn. Let's go. There's nothing. There's nothing in the asteroid field for me. I want to press on. I I hope. I hope that we come across things uh, or something before uh, before everybody dies. Oh. Out into the vastness of space you go, Gloria. Captain Gloria. I guess we need a new captain. Well, it would make sense to assign the... Uh, it makes sense to assign the only person... That currently has any HP at all. As uh, as the captain. There we go. Do some more sleeping. Do some more sleeping. That's that's good. That's a good uh, a good pastime. Uh, yeah, I mean, I honestly don't know, folks, if there's anything, if there's anything else here. Um... It's a bit disappointing that there's no other sort of interactions. I will say, though, I think the premise is fantastic. I really... Gloria's left my crew. I really, really like what I see. I, um... Is that Sammy? Is that Sammy Fisk finally gone? Anna Williams. Oh, Anna Williams is dead now. Okay. That's fine. To be fair, um... At least now we only have one mouth to feed. But... We also don't have any food to feed it with, so that's that's kind of a shame. Uh, yeah, really like the premise. I I just don't know if there's anything. I don't know if there's anything else out here. I don't think that. I don't think that I've done anything. You know, uh, crazy wrong. We only came across one ship. There's no other way to, to to feed yourself. I'm gonna put it down to the fact that this is a very early build of uh, of an early game. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. I'm I'm really excited for this. I'm really really excited to see. Um, I think it requires quite a lot of tweaking to make it possible to uh, make it all work. But yeah, I'm really excited. Anyway, folks, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Over the Potato. I'll catch you next time.